Okay, let's move on in this series. And now I'm going to show you how you can type a React context. A context is something that you use pretty often if you have a fairly large application in React. So I think it's essential to learn how to type it. And it's actually nothing special. And I will create a context from scratch now. So you will also learn how to create a context in React. So that's kind of a bonus for this video. All right, so let's start by creating a new file in the SRC folder that I call context. TSX. I'm going to import React and also the use state. Or we can, uh, we don't have to import it here if we don't want to. But as I said before, I want to show you different ways of doing stuff. So that's why I'm doing it here now. Then we're going to create a context, const context, like this. And from React.create context, I call that one. Uh, and we can create an empty object for now. I'm going to type this in a second. Then I want to create a provider for a context. Const character ID provider. And this one is going to be a react.fc, a React functional component. We have the children because everything that should be able to access this context is going to be wrapped with the, this character ID provider later. All right. And inside of this provider, I create a state, const character ID, set character ID. So this is essentially the same state as we already have here in the app component where I set the character ID. So I'm going to move this one inside of the context instead. So this is the one that we're going to refactor for this exercise. And then we have the use state. And we're going to set it to 1, because we start at the number 1. Then we're going to return something. So we're going to return the con from the context. We have the provider, like this. The value is going to be an object. So I have double curly brackets. First, because we're entering JavaScript land inside of JSX. And the second one, the second pair is for the object itself. And I'm going to send in the character ID and set character ID to that object. So we provide that to the context. And inside of the context, we're going to have our children. Something like this. And then we're going to export default character ID provider. So that's the default export. And then I'm also going to export kind of a utility function, export const use character ID. And it's an arrow function. And we use the hook react use context. So instead of doing this in every component that you want to use the context, we can do it here for us. So when we want to use the context, we import this hook, use character ID. And all right, this is fine. This context will work, but we want to type it also because this is not typed at all, except for this functional component here. So I'm going to create a type for a context, type, character ID type. Then we have the character ID. It's going to be a number. Then we have the setter for this one, set character ID. And if you don't want to type it out, you can always hover your mouse over here and you can see the type of that one. So I'm going to grab this one and paste it in here. So that's the type for our context. And as I told you before in this series, that all hooks and context, and that a lot of stuff in React are generics. And it's the same with the create context. So we have these angle brackets, and we can provide the character ID type. And now you can see that it starts to complain. And this is good, because now it says that this can't be an empty object, because it should be of the type character ID type. And if you remember, and if you remember what I did before in this little series, I did a typecast as. And I set it to character ID type, and this will tell TypeScript that, OK, it's empty, but I want it to be of the type of the character ID type. And this is fine. So that's how you type the context itself. We also want, uh, we don't actually need to type this one uh, explicitly here, because this is typed as a number. 
if it could be undefined, for example, then we have to type it because it should be of the type number and undefined. But we don't need to do that now. So I can remove it again because it will interpret that this is a number. So that's fine. So this is actually everything we have to do to type the context. We specify the type for the context and we send it in to this generic inside of the angle brackets. Right, save the context, go back to the app.tsx file. We're going to comment this one out and actually we need to be in the main first because we need to import the provider from the main in the main file. So I'm going to mark it with context provider and then we import character id provider from dot forward slash context. That's the default import, so that's the one that we import here. And then we can wrap our app component with that one character ID provider. I move it up inside, and this will make sure that everything that's wrapped inside of this provider will have access to this character ID. So now we can save this and go back to the app.tsx, and now we can import our little utility function that I call context hook. Import use character ID from dot forward slash context. So that's what's so nice to have them uh, all collected in this uh, context file here. We have the provider and we have this utility function when we want to grab the value, all right? And we comment this one out. And instead of this state here, the local state, we can use the context. So const, this time it's an object. So we're gonna destructure out the character ID and set character ID equal use character ID, and we call that hook like this. And this should work just as before. So I save this file, go back to my application, reload it just in case. And as you can see, it works just as expected, but we the but with the only difference that we're grabbing the character ID from a context now. So we could have a lot of components down the tree that could access this character ID with this hook here. So that's pretty neat and it's pretty useful actually when you have a large application. All right, that's how you type the context in React. Let's move on.